the Danimal Express has arrived in Launston, a proper nothing happening Cornish shithole, as he is about to compete in another multi-man bout. Danny Boy trolls this young lad at ringside because he knows in 10 years time he'll be on forums slagging off the boys work rate, and ripping into Maccas for not pushing Tyler Bate or some shit. Tyler Hawk, the greatest PWA champion of all time, is out next. He also trolls that little kid ha 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 that kid is crying on the inside. But before you simps tell any of us that we're out of order, that young lad will probably pick himself up. Get a lovely missus when he's older and have nice respect for kids instead of going on the UK fan forum arguing about why Game Changer Wrestling is better than CCW or something. Fuck you neck gauge, last and certainly least, the worst thing associated with Tiger since those inbred tosses Joe Exotic and Carol Baskin, Lucky Tiger Lee. Look at this prick. He's not dancing. He's trying hard not to expel hot brown shit knowing full well the modern day equivalent of late 80s Hogan and Warrior are going to batter him. After Lee pisses his fucking pants in fear being in there with the greatest pro wrestling pride catch division champion, and the greatest DWA Joel Redman Academy trophy champion, Tyler decides he wants to leave the miserable piss heap that is Lance Ston. The UK heartbreak kid wants to stay because he didn't come all the way from the mighty Plymouth just to fuck around. He's here to fight. Tiger Lee manages to get Danny Boy in a headlock and the jammy fucker tackles him. Then he runs like a pussy whilst Johnson tries taking his legs out like Roy Keane. Tiger then tries escaping the ring like the shook bitch he is. The Plymouth Steve Carino goes after him, but is immediately blindsided. Fucky Tiger then tries escaping again because he knows full well that if Johnson ever caught him. He'd batter him harder than Don Fry did to Takayama. After ducking and dodging Danny Boy's powerful right hand of steel, the two hit each other with clotheslines, with Danny Boy's looking like prime John Bradshaw Layfield, except less of a cunt. Hawk tries to shithouse an easy pin. Nah fair play to the lad. He's not the greatest OCW junior heavyweight champion because he just sits there and plays with his knob all day. Tiger and Tyler have a scrap to the corner. Then Tiger tries running away and escaping again, but gets a jammy as fuck hip toss in. Tyler tries to demonstrate his amazing acrobats to the crowd, but Tiger twats him like a cheating shithouse he is. Danny Boy valiantly fights back. I haven't seen a Tiger get their ass beat this bad since I downloaded some Lillian Tiger bongo on LimeWire in 2006. Great times. But I have a wife now, so no more smut for me. Danny Boy shoots Tiger to the buckle, but again, he tries escaping because he knows the Dark Horse would murder him. Well the West Country Barry Windham ain't standing for that shit anymore. Johnson tries to go behind him to German the bell end, but is then sexually harassed. Not cool. Not cool at all. You leave the top sports entertainer's farter alone. Multi-man matched and throws pissy pantsly out the ring, fucking enraged that he got his ass slapped. That's only reserved for top quality totty when Johnson feels a bit kinky, for fuck's sake. Then Johnson throws a fucking quality right hook on the green wanker. That's why he's the Devon Van Dam. It was lucky he's wearing those concrete white boots, because Johnson would have kicked his skull like a Trevor Sinclair overhead bicycle kick. The absolute top boy and Tyler then give that miserable shit heap of a town a once in a lifetime treat, and show them wrestling from true men but then realize they don't deserve it and shake hands ha 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 go eat some shit you smelly cornish tarts. Tiger gets absolutely jealous because he has no friends or fans and wants in. Crack. Have another right hook, you chump. Being a top lad, Danny Boy lets Tyler have a smack. Fucking hell that was liquid punching. Like watching Prime Bobby Eaton punch some J Brown in WCW you love to see it. Tiger Lee looks like he's just escaped a terrible night with Joe Exotic, the lads go to chin him, but he somehow still has fight in him. Oh no, oh fuck. Come on lads. Fucking deck him. This is worse content than anything on TikTok. The Southwest Rick Martel tells him to fucking pack it in, and smacks him in the dub to calm him down. Dan tells Tyler to kick Lee's head off, but is blinded by those fucking corn lights and feels Hawk's powerful boot to his swede. Get rid of those lights immediately. Tiger goes to low blow Tyler. Oh no. Johnson gets hit in the cock. 
Thank goodness Danny Boy has the and Ray the giant of willies. Otherwise his balls would have been damaged. Tiger does a John Harding to the lads in the corner. Keep calm keep rocking. Judging by this match, Tiger's motto should be keep running away like a fucking coward. Keep sucking. Tiger tries an noggin knocker, but ha 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 epic fail you smelly little tart. You have to wake up early to fool Hawk in the southwest warrior Danimal. What a rush. The boys go to suplex Lucky Tigerly then hopefully make him humble. But then the jammy fucker gets out of it again. Oh just fuck off already. Christ. Lucky Tiger goes to kick Dan in the balls. Then kicks his head. Oh fuck. This is bullshit. Tiger attempts to kick Tyler in the balls. Are unlucky you verge. Tyler throws him out, but again, the jammy fucker finds a way in, and skims the cat like prime steamboat. Lee gets all cocky and chats shit, before spearing Hawk. Oh fucking hell. Go on Danny boy, finish the bastard off. Uh oh. Oh fuck right off those lights blinded him again. Fuck this. Tiger almost murdered Danny boy. Send him to the nick immediately. Tiger stumbles like a drunken tilt what. Tyler knocks him spark out before throwing his missus some jewelry as he's such a great boyfriend. Tyler gets the dub. As the Launston crowd are in tears because Danny Boy has broken ribs thanks to that murderous spear. Not the result the sports entertainment Paulo Maldini wanted, but a learning curve. And after this he learned to embrace the punters and now they get along. A happy ending. Oh, and fuck those lights. But thank Christ they get moved away from the ring so people can still see the action anyway. A wooger.